Moving on to the other approaches, we'll quickly go through these slides because I'm not sure how valuable they are to you other than anatomy. So the medial approach is utilized for the medial meniscus, the fix, fracture fixation, ganglion excision, as well as ligament reconstruction. Here, what's important is understanding the layers. I can see a question if they ask an anatomy question, is what's in layer one, which is our, the pes tendons, the sartorius, the gracilis, the semitendinosus. In layer two is the superficial MCL. In layer three is the deep MCL. It is important to note that the MCL is extrasynovial, it's not intrasynovial, and that could potentially be a question asked. Again, on the medial approach, something that is important to note is the location of the infrapatellar branch of the saphenous nerve. As we mentioned it before, it can be injured, and if it is, the nerve should be buried. Also important to note, uh, the nerve is located between the sartorius and the gracilis muscles. Highlighting the dangers once again is the infrapatellar branch of the saphenous nerve. If that nerve is cut, it can become a neuroma. If it can be identified, it's important to bury that nerve in fat. That, that has been associated with a reduction in neuroma formation. Another anatomy question that can be that, that has been uh, tested before is the orientation of the popliteal artery uh, along the medial side. It lies along the media, midline posterior joint capsule adjacent to the medial head of the gastroc. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.